Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. I'm going to show you a quick illustration of the most powerful confirming indicator in candlestick analysis. Strong enough that it puts you in the right direction of trades at the correct time. And that is the T-line. This black line right here, the 8 exponential move and average. There's a very simple rule with a T-line, which is if you see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T-line, the probabilities become extremely strong that you're going to be in a downtrend. Now, was this downtrend projected to be this powerful? Definitely not. But once you have changed your strategy and started going from long positions to short positions based upon this close below the T-line, it puts you in positions where participating in big price moves or big trend moves are dramatically in your favor. The T-line is the 8 exponential move and average. Call it the T-line because it's short for the trigger line. And it has Fibonacci characteristics. So one of the strongest aspects of candlestick analysis is that the candlestick signals are the graphic depiction of investor sentiment, the, uh, the fight between the bulls and the bears. The T-line has Fibonacci characteristics. It acts like a natural support and resistance level of human nature. So when you combine those two on a chart, the graphics of candlesticks and the T-line, you're combining a very high probability trading strategy. The T-line is very effective for keeping people in trades without getting whipsawed out. This eight exponential move on average just acts like a natural support and resistance level. If you see a sell signal and a close below the T-line, you're in a downtrend. If you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line, you can stay long until you see a sell signal and a close back below the T-line. So if you see the probabilities in your favor by seeing an oversold condition and a close above the T-line, here's a little kicker signal, you can stay long until you see that sell signal and close below the T-line. The same scenario is true on the downside. If you see sell signals and close below the T-line, you can stay short until you see a buy signal and a close back up above the T-line. If you use that T-line rule, you're going to put yourself in situations where the probabilities are extremely strong that you're in the right direction. We're getting a lot of questions in the chat room saying, should we short here? The answer is, this has now gotten into the oversold area, and it's moved a good percentage. Is this a good place to short? Obviously not. What candlestick analysis does is allows you to train your eye to see when the T-line's acting as a resistance level, notice this little signal here, kind of a bearish flutter kicker signal, a very strong bearish signal. That was the area that you should be uh, getting yourself mentally accustomed or visually accustomed to seeing that and shorting there versus down here. When it moves down here, your trading strategy at that time should be, I should be watching to see where to take profits not entering the trade. The number one factor is the signals. A strong confirming indicator is the T-line. You shouldn't be asking, should we be shorting here? If you're asking that question, that means you don't know what to be doing down here. You should be looking back and saying, where should I have been shorting this position? So that now, instead of asking whether I should be shorting, you're now sitting here saying, when should I start taking profits? One of the strongest indicators, again, is the T-line. A candlestick sell signal followed by a close below the T-line produces 
an extremely high probability that a downtrend is in progress. And that's what we saw this past week when the indexes started closing below the T-line. That was a good, clear indication to say start closing out long positions that were showing weakness, especially with sell signals and closes below the T-line, and adding short positions. Now, the rhetorical question was, was there the expectation of this big downdraft over the last few days of trading? Definitely not. But you didn't need to know that. All you needed to know was that was the direction that if you had started establishing short positions when the indicators told you it was time to go short, you now have the opportunity to be participating in the moves that are moving in the right direction for you. And the one thing that we can show about candlestick signals is because it's all visual, test it for yourself. Put the eight exponential moving average on your charts and then watch to see when a trend is moving how often you can stay long as long as it doesn't close below the T-line. This powerful indicator will dramatically improve the returns of your portfolio. Thank you for listening.